Here I will explain to you about the modulus function. Now you must be wondering what do you mean by a modulus function? Let's say you define a function r to r, okay, such that fx is equal to mod a. Do you understand what the meaning of this mod is? Just to recall, basically mod means that whatever be the value of x inside, whether it be positive or negative, the value which comes outside mod is always positive. So let's say if you have mod minus 4, that is equal to 4, and if you have mod 4, that is also equal to 4. Okay? And there can be two situations in this case. Let's say x is equal to positive y. So then what will be fx is equal to mod x is equal to x. So what will be the coordinates? It will be x and x. And this will be true for all values greater than 0. Greater than equal to 0. Right? So for x greater than equal to 0, the coordinates will be x and x. What happens if x is negative? So the coordinate is minus x. Then fx will be equal to mod minus x, which again will be x. It's logic that I do. So in this case, the coordinate will be minus x. For all value less than 0. So hence we conclude that the function x for a modulus function is x x for x greater than equal to 0 and minus x x for x less than equal to 0. Okay? This is known as a modulus function. Once you compute these values, it's very easy to plot them on the graph. So we are kind of not looking at plotting this in the graph in this particular example.